Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick and cheerful review of Office Suite by Alan Bennett. So this is two one-act plays, green forms, and a visit from Miss Prothero. As always, I'm going to read you the blurb, then I'm going to go through and check out my admittedly limited number of tabs, and then I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. So, Dane reads... Designed to be played as a double bill, the two plays in this volume are about office life. In green forms, Doris and Doreen are comfortably installed in an obscure department of a large organisation. It is a cushy little number. On a normal day, the girls keep busy by flirting with nice Mr Tidmarsh in appointments or pursuing their bitter feud over a wash basin plug with Mr Cunliffe in personnel. Work is nowhere. However, this is not a normal day and slowly Doris and Doreen realise that someone elsewhere in the organisation has his or her eye on them. A shadow falls across their tranquil lives. Is it redundancy? In a visit from Miss Prothero, another idol is rudely interrupted. Mr Dodsworth has recently retired. Sitting at home, he is contemplating his life and achievements with quiet satisfaction when there is a sharp ring at the door. His former secretary has come to ruin it all. Permeated by Alan Bennett's ironic and compassionate observation, these plays are proof of his keen ear for the rhythms of northern speech while being funny, touching and true. And it kind of reminded me um, a little bit of uh, something happened by Joseph Heller which I really enjoyed in that they all kind of do a really great job of Tackling what office life is now. This is office life in I think the 70s So it's a little bit different. It's kind of pre computerization which is quite interesting as well But yes, so Doris goes oh blood and sand and that just reminds me of one of my colleagues Jana uh, Who has a lot of Janarisms we call them inventive ways to not swear and so on the subject of redundancy Doris gets this little line or, or lines Look at the courses. Manpower Services course, Tewkesbury. Personnel Selection course, Basingstoke. Time and Motion Study course, Winchester. Manpower Services Computerization course, Andover. Time and Motion Computerization. They're all different ways of spelling the same word. Redundancy. And that's kind of what they fear. And we get a twist when uh, Miss Binns arrives at the end. An ominous figure stands in the doorway, casting a black shadow across the stage. Um, and the riddle here is, uh, listen to this, I am the foundation of all business, I am the source of all prosperity, I am the parent of genius, I am the salt that gives life its savour, I am the foundation of every fortune, I do more to advance youth than parents, be they never so wealthy, I must be loved before I can bestow my greatest blessings and achieve my greatest ends, loved I can make life sweet, purposeful and fruitful, I am represented in the most limited savings, the largest body of investment, all progress springs from me, what am I? And then Miss Bins goes, I am work, I am work. All right, so on to a visit from Miss Prothero. A few lines here that I tabbed out. So I just like this exchange. So Miss Prothero goes, she's still got that nasty eczema, Mr. Dodsworth says. Doreen, poor girl. And Miss Prothero says, the doctor thinks it's nerves. I think it's those tight. And we get this exchange as well. So Mr. Dodsworth, could you drink a cup of tea? Tea with my kidneys? I forgot. I wish I could forget. Tea, you might as well offer me hydrochloric acid. Well, coffee? Only if it's very weak. Surely coffee's gonna be even worse for you. And Mr. Dodsworth uh, says, she could make a place cozy, good Winnie. She used to read a lot, read all sorts. Naomi Jacob, Leo Wormsley, Phyllis Bentley, the Brontes, she'd read them all. And Miss Prothero goes, I suppose it's very nice if you've got the time. Me, I never open a book from one year's end to the next. Anyway, it's all an escape. But then later Dodsworth says, what about your family? My what? Family? Do you mean father? Oh yes, I'm sorry, your mother died. She didn't die, father killed her. Oh, that's news to me. Over 42 years of marriage, slowly, day by day, inch by inch, smiling and smiling in the sight of the whole world, gently and politely with every appearance of kindness, he killed her. Damn good line, that. So yeah, I did enjoy these plays. There's also a little cool little introduction, mostly with Bennett talking about like Northern dialogue. So he talks about how the way, uh, when pe northern people are talking, they'll often put the, um, the words at the end of the sentence. Uh, he had some examples somewhere. Let's have a look. So he writes, key words will often come at the end of the sentence. It used to be a right refined place, did Morecambe. I preferred it to Bishpham. Only it's gone all hectic. I've watched it go hectic, Morecambe. And it will go the same way, will Grange. It's only a matter of time. But yeah, being not exactly northern, but from the British Midlands, I can kind of relate to a lot of that as well. I just thought they were really great plays. I'd love to see the two of them perform sort of as, as, as he says, kind of back to back. It's Again, it's it took like an hour to read this or something. It's not a huge read. A lot of fun. Office Suite by Alan Bennett. I gave it a 4 out of 5 and also a 4 out of 5 to both the two plays, Green Forms and A Visit from Miss Prothero. Although Green Forms was probably my favourite of the two. 
So there we have it, that's what I made of Office Suite by Alan Bennett. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book. If you read it, hit that like button. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.